Welcome to the second part of this tutorial series where we're creating a top-down zombie shooter using JavaScript. And in this video, we're going to be adding components into our game. So we're going to have a player sprite in our game and we're also going to have some grass background. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do um, is we're right back to our JavaScript. And the first thing we want to do is um, go here and we're going to add some variables. So we're going to say very, we're going to just put the comment variables. Um, and the first type of variables we're going to be creating are game objects. So we're going to call the first one player. So just say let player, um, let grass one. And we're going to have nine grasses around the screen because in our game, we want to have infinite grass. And I'll, I'll basically show, show you how to make that work. But um, And it's not going to be very hard. It's going to be a very simple thing. I'm going to go this and this. Okay, cool. Seven, um, eight, and nine. Okay, cool. So now we have nine grass objects. And the next thing we just need to do is scroll down here and create our component function. So right um, after the game area variable, let's create this function. We're going to call this function um, and we're going to call it components. So component, component. Okay, perfect. And then do this this and this okay so we're gonna have some arguments that our component can take we're gonna have the width because we need to have um be able to set the width the height of our component because these are all just basically game objects um the source image the x the y the type and the angle um so basically the angle is going to be used to rotate our player because we're going to have our player facing towards our cursor and then the type is just we're going to have like either it's going to act differently um if it's a player or if it's a zombie um or if it's a grass object so each type is going to act um, interact differently and then we're going to say this dot type um equals type i'm going to just spell that correctly i say this dot type equals type and then just set this dot angle equals to angle and now let's let's go ahead and say if type equals to image okay if type equals to image or if the type equals to grass then this dot image equals new image and then this dot image dot source equals source okay so we're just creating a brand new image and the uh, grass is also going to be an image but um, it's going to interact differently and then we're just going to set the source to um the source we provide right here um and then else if type equals player, I was gonna say um this dot image equals to new image um and I was gonna say this dot image dot src equals to player right okay cool now um if we go back um here um we're gonna animate our player but we're not gonna do that in this video but um simply just call this um animation variables and we're just gonna um say let player sprite equal to and then um we're gonna say images um, and then we're just going to go um, shooter, shotgun, and then we just want our idle shotgun zero. So I'm just going to grab the path of that, which is this images, top down zombie shooter, top down this. So just um, copy this exact same link and then um, um, scroll right back down here. Um, next, we're going to say this dot width equals to width this dot height equals to height this dot x equals to x and this dot y equals to y and then 
we're going to create an update function um, for our components. We're going to just say this update equals to function. Um, okay. So now we're going to say let ctx equal to game area dot context. Um, okay, cool. I'm just going to say ctx dot save. Okay. Then we're going to say, um, row tate the player image based on the angle. So this is just some future. And we're going to say ctx dot translate, um, this dot x plus this dot width um, divided by two come on this dot y plus this dot height divided by two and then this is basically to um rotate the player um if we're having um if we're changing its angle by uh, making it face towards um, our mouse cursor, but this also is, an, is just a functionality we're adding for the function itself, but it's not going to be called anytime soon. And we're just going to say images um, and animated images. And then we'll just say if type equals to. Okay, yeah, this whole time I've been signing the equals operator wrong. This is how you do equals in. Uh, JavaScript you need three equal signs um, when we're looking for something and then we just say if type equals to image this one isn't too hard and we just say um, ctx dot draw um, image and then say this dot image um, comma minus this dot width divided by two comma negative this dot height divided by two and then this dot width and this dot height so right here we're basically just going to draw our image using this um, and then we're going to copy this say else else if the type is player and then yeah, all we have to do instead is say um, this dot image dot source equals to player sprite and then just do the same here only difference is well, actually, instead, we can just do this if image or type equals grass. Okay. Um, and that's all. Now we just have to go here and say um, ctx.restore. Okay. So that's all we need for our. For our component, now we just have to go ahead and create one and actually see how um, it would work. So just to create a component, we're just going to create, um, we're first going to just create one. We're just going to say player equals new component. And then our height for our player is 313. Um, and then we also want an image scale because um, some of these objects are scaled a bit differently. So let me just um, animation variables, semicolon, and then animation mm, yeah I, I think this is fine we say let um, images scale equal to 0 0.5 actually 0 0.4 okay so now we're just gonna copy the exact same um, with the height of the original image, but then we're just going to multiply it by the image scale in case you want to make it um, M, like what is it? We can dynamically change the height, 
I mean the size of our image. So we're just going to do this. And then the original um, height is 207 times images scale. Um, and then we got to set its center to 640. But then it's not aligned. The, the player itself is not aligned um, correctly to the center of the screen. So to do that, we're just going to say 313 times images scale. Um, and then divide that by 2. And then just say 360, 60 minus 202 times image scale. And then divide by 2, comma, player, comma, 0. Okay, semicolon, and and then right under the context, you just want to say player dot update. And then the last thing, the last thing we need to do is just go back to our player and set its source to player sprite, and save that. And we can go to our game, and reload. And yeah, of course, I mean I tested this already, but now we have our player in our screen. Now one more thing we just want to do is add the grass background as well. So. This one is very simple as well. We're just going to call this grass one, which equals to new component. We're going to set it to 1 to 80 by 720. So it's going to take up the whole screen and say images slash grass dot PNG. And then um, our first position is going to be negative 280 by 720 and then make it of type grass now just do this copy two three four five six seven eight nine and then do this two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're just going to change these values so it's going to be zero oh my gosh zero and positive one to 80 and then we're going to make this positive one to i mean uh, negative one to 80 but make this zero um make them both zero here um make this one to 80 and this zero because it's positive um one to 80 and then last one is just negative one to 80 720 zero 720 and then positive one two eighty do to this save and nothing's gonna show up until we actually update it using this so just go grass one dot update and we're just gonna do the same thing we did before to save time two three four five six seven eight, nine and then do this two three four five six seven eight nine save it and now if we go back to our code we have the grass but um, we want to make sure that our player is underneath it so it spawned last and it can um, appear um, what is it called above the grass so there we go that's it for this video thank you very much for watching please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video where we're going to be moving our player in the game so see you in the next one peace